How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 21 Explore the Horizon update has just been announced and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. All six new cars, features, accolades, just everything you need to know about the whole update including gameplay and footage of everything let's jump straight into it so we'll start off with the festival playlist as that has some of the new cars so the full series for 80 points you can get the wooling sunshine and for 160 points the audi rs7 from 2021 on to summer which is the first week for 20 points you can get the first new car the diberti f250 and for 40 points the porsche mccann rr Forza's Ton shop for that first week has stuff like the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL, the Hennessy Velociraptor, the Takeoff Emote and the Senko's T. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. Autumn, which is the second week. For 20 points, you can get the next new car of this month, the Ford F-150 from 1986. And then for 40 points, the Extreme E number 44. The Force Salon Shop for that second week has the Aston Martin DB5, the Ford Trophy Truck, Referee, Whistlehorn and Lion Race Suit. Let's take a look at what other challenges are available on that second week. Winter, which is the third week, you can get the Chevy K10 from 1972 for 20 points. That is the third new car of this month. I also have a little bit of customization footage from this car as well. It has a bit of customization as you can see, so I'm looking forward to getting that in winter on the third week. For 40 points, we can also get the Rip Rod. And the Forza Salon shop for that third week has the Porsche 911 GT2 from 95, the Ford Escort RS 1800, What's Inside a Moat and Horizon Raptors Cap. What other challenges are available on that third week? Spring, which is the fourth and final week. For 20 points you can get the fourth new car, the Hummer EV Truck and for 40 points, the Morris Traveller. The Forza Don Shop for that fourth week has the Ford Bronco, the Illumicraft Class 10, Photo Mode Hoodie, and the Hot Wheels Guitar Stadium Car Haul. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that last week. If you're enjoying this video guys make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these everything you need to know videos leaks just everything to do with horizon 5 you don't want to miss so a pretty good festival playlist lots of truck related cars as you can see one per week now we do actually have two other cars coming this update for free through gifts the 2021 cupra 4 4 mentor vz5 is going to be gifted to all players who play during the Explore the Horizon series. As you can see on screen, there it is. In the next series, it will be available to purchase from the Auto Show for 70,000 credits. We're also getting the 2022 Cupra Taviscan Concept. This vehicle will also be available in the Auto Show for 50,000 credits after this series, but if you play during this series, you will get it for free. There's also an upgrade highlight on this car as well. This feature, this vehicle features a motor and battery swap, which also changes the EV audio for the car. Try it out. That one sounds quite interesting. I'll definitely be having a look at that. So those are the six new cars coming in the update. What features have we got? We've got a fair bit. We have an upgraded photo mode and I have a bit of footage to go with this as well. We can see we've got time of day changes, weather changes, wheel tilt, guidelines, character positions, character remotes, photo presets and portrait mode toggle lots it just adds loads of possibilities to the photo mode i mean it was already fairly in depth anyway so that's really cool to see as you said i've got a little bit of footage of some of the upgrades on screen while we're having a look at the footage there are some photo mode accolades as well as you can see here it's basically take a photo with this take a photo with that along with sort of the new settings that they've added it kind of forces you to use them so we all like new accolades don't we photo mode looks pretty damn cool now we also have the 
overlanding car customizations or modifications they say. The Ford F-150 Lightning that is in the Rally Adventure expansion has some overlanding modifications that can be fitted. Well they are rolling this out to 16 other cars which I have a list of somewhere, there it is. These 16 cars will all get the overlanding modifications that the Ford F-150 Lightning hat. So there's your overlanding mods for you. Event Lab has some changes as well. We have some new Event Lab props which are to do with the oval circuits which are really cool. I have some footage of that on screen now. We can see these massive sort of tarmac oval rings that we can now build which will be that's quite a big thing for Event Lab, I think. We have some quick footage of the oval track pieces being used within a race. It's created an awesome oval race that's a million times better than the one that's at the stadium for this month. That is leaving now next week when the season changes over. But now we have the track pieces to make our own ovals. And this one looks pretty damn cool. So they really are going in the right direction with updates, in my opinion, in terms of stuff that my type of player base wants. And there are also some other miscellaneous event lab props as well, such as lightings and backdrops to make your own little photo studio, as you can see on screen. So that's pretty cool as well. They've absolutely sent it with this update so far, not going to lie. We have new pathfinding accolades, which also sounds really cool. And it seems like they're just very advanced accolades with pretty cool rewards that sort of you can only complete them in succession. I do have um, the screenshots of the accolades and the challenges on screen. We can say it says play during the wet season. And then it sort of gives you hints of where to go and what to do. It looks pretty cool to be honest. I guess it's something a bit different. Just very advanced accolades as you can see. What else have we got? Well, we've got some, some miscellaneous cosmetics as expected. There are three new car horns, the Raptor Roar, the Reaper Cackle and the Predator Howl. Those sound quite cool to be honest. Players can also unlock the Cupra Race Suit in celebration of the new Cupra vehicles that will be gifted that we spoke about earlier. So a new race suit and three new car horns. And, as usual, we have a load of fixes as well. Now, this is not all of the fixes within the update, but it is the highlights. We will cover all of the fixes in a later video, as we usually do. Um, as you, see, you can see on screen what the um, what all the highlighted fixes are. Again, there's more than this. This is all they're showing us. I have some extra footage of the event lab of the month. And it is, I can't remember what it's called now, but I've got some footage of a good old Porsche going around it. Uh, I've got quite a lot of footage to show you guys today, which is a rarity. It's always good to have footage to show you guys what I'm talking about. Now that is it for update 21. However, we have update 22. We've got a pretty of a glimpse at that and it looks like a good one. Update 22 is going to be Upgrade Heroes. It's gonna have a Horizon test track that's the crossword solved new cars new rims and new badges more on that in a later video but i believe that polishes off the crossword torben tuesday thing that we've been completing for ages that's finally being completed so update 22 looks like a good one but for the time being update 21 also pretty cool let me know what you're looking forward to the most i'll see you all later